his left hand side and I'm using my right hand under so upper arm lower arm yes and I can uh, use my hand to control his wrist so already three points one two three now with my other hand I grab his fingers like I when I explain to teacher it's like a shark <laughs> so it's easy to understand and I find his third finger so I want to turn his hand this way and show you what I do so my thumb is under his finger joint right here and my fingers two and three are above his nail notice that my finger number three is a little bit farther than his nail so when I want to play first notes with my student Myron you don't need to do anything you just let me do that okay so um, now we need to move it a little bit lower yes okay so uh, when I play with the students first notes and I press the key sorry let me see the key his hands are too big um, I basically do it by my hand by my finger and students uh, hear very nice sound full deep sounds but they uh, don't experience any uncomfortable feeling or um, pain because little fingers who didn't play yet and if we push them a little bit too hard they might feel pain or uncomfortable so first times I'll show you again I try to do it so my thumb under his nail joint and it also helps uh, to um, bend the finger a little bit so they don't collapse like that right so that I kind of kill several birds with the same thing okay relax his hands arm is heavy <laughs> okay so now then while my fingers are down I lift his wrist up and a little bit forward so we experience the whole range the whole range of wrist motion vertical wrist motion which will address later in our sessions very in, in details but now I just wanted to show you okay now another thing that I saw in the videos uh, a lot of uh, teachers put fingers too close to the edge and the student especially grown-up student hand was kind of hanging like that so that's not what we want to do we want to with our right hand we want to push forward so students whole hand is above the keys and wrist is practically um, above the uh, the piano this bar and you see this way we create a good position now with my other fingers I can yes um, these fingers uh, four and five I control because they are in my hand so if student wants to stick out finger four and five I don't let them try again see he wants to do that and I still control it but I'm not as much in control of finger number two but if he wants to stick out finger number two I can help him not to do that and thumb I can control underneath with my uh, other hand okay so I'm in total control but the most important thing is to make it unnoticeable to the student so they don't really focus on that remember children learn from experience they don't learn from explanation or demonstration that's why I would encourage you next time when you record the video try not to tell anything to your uh, student or grandma or husband or baby just <clears throat> try to do 
<clears throat> excuse me, try to do everything with your hands, nothing with uh, talking or demonstrating. Okay, so I'm in control here. Let me check what else I um, forgot to mention. Now, another thing, wrist, you need to remember, is always the pilot of the boat. So first goes the wrist and finger still stays close to the keys. I saw some teachers doing like that. So this way the wrist is still stiff, it doesn't move. So wrist can move only when finger is stabilized. If I lift my finger, or student finger, like that, then wrist is not in control. And then we create percussive sound. So fingers will, will play series of notes now. Fingers are really close to the keys, but wrist experiences the full range of movements. Now, as you see, I go all the way up, but when I go down, I don't let student go too low. So there is uh, uh, an effect of a spring, of a coil. Uh, we, uh, sometimes we compare wrist with a shock absorbent uh, in the car, right? So it's kind of a little springy right here. But of course, student doesn't know, so we create that for them. We go all the way up. And uh, here we stop. We don't want to go like that because we are going to talk today. I'm going to explain you about the weight. If we do that, the weight is not flowing to your fingertip. It will stop right here. Okay. All right. Let me check if I didn't miss anything. Uh huh. Uh, also, another thing we are going to address today later is the speed of lowering the key. For example, some of you would do like that, which again creates percussive sound. So we're gonna talk about breathing and how it can help. So we need to press the key slowly to be able to create a singing beautiful tone. <laughs> 